Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the University of Manchester and to this magnificent Whitworth Hall. Today we celebrate the achievements of our graduates. This will be a memorable day for you all, and we look forward very much to sharing it with you. I remember all too well sitting where you are, worried if I could even negotiate the stage without stumbling, waiting for, with great anticipation for the ceremony to end so as to be with relatives and friends and to celebrate with them in person. So I know that listening to a speech like this is the last thing on your mind. So speeches like this are rarely, if ever, criticised for being too short. <laughs> However, it would be remiss not to say just a few words about the University of Manchester, a truly global university that values its European and international students, staff and alumni, and indeed we have more than 160 nationalities here on campus. The degrees that you'll receive today didn't come easily. They're very well recognised internationally, and this can only serve you well in your future, particularly as with your talents, your qualifications, your achievements, you will truly transform lives in the years ahead. For our own faculty, there are unique opportunities to transform health care with the unique opportunity of devolution of the health and social care budget to Greater Manchester. And to make the health care system of Manchester meet the needs of our population, we need to provide the very best care. That means not only do we produce the very best health care professionals, like you, but that we also deliver innovation and research into health care so that our patients are at the forefront of new and better treatments at all times. And we want to make that impact not just in Manchester, but across the NHS and indeed across the world. Over the last few months, we've seen remarkable, indeed unprecedented success in major research initiatives to our faculty, with almost £100 million of major institutional awards from the likes of Cancer Research UK, NIHR and the Wellcome Trust. These achievements, these investments will transform not only the care that we offer our patients, but also their health outcomes. For many of you graduating today, this will be your first degree. But I can see for many others, this is a second or indeed a higher degree, demonstrating a continuation of your higher learning. Now that's a reminder, a reminder that we live in an era of lifelong learning, arguably most important in the area of clinical sciences, to ensure that our patients, be the individuals or populations, always receive the very best care that you can provide. Clinicians no longer practice as individuals, carrying all the information they need in their heads. Those days have long gone. Clinical knowledge now advances exponentially. We work in teams, accessing, interpreting and applying high quality data and information to complex clinical situations to optimise patient care. So continuing to learn throughout our careers is critical. E.M. Forster, the great 20th century writer, wrote in The Observer in 1951 that spoon feeding in the long run teaches us nothing but the shape of the spoon. We need to give you more than that. So perhaps the greatest thing we've taught you is not facts, but how to learn, what to learn, to think critically, to ask questions, so building on the very foundations of your degree. In the university, we're creating continuing professional development programmes and postgraduate degrees tailored specifically to the needs of healthcare. So I hope that many of you will take advantage of these and continue your lifelong learning at this great university. You'll also become members of our alumni association, and that association can help you remain in contact with the university, linking you to a community of more than a quarter of a million Manchester graduates across the globe, with various alumni events, some of which I've been at recently, all the way from Boston to Beijing, which have been very successful evenings. As alumni, you can also help future students in many ways as ambassadors to the, of the university in student placements and employment and directly with your advice to us as to the university's development. And finally, as you leave today, you will no doubt have very mixed emotions. Excitement, apprehension, relief, regret, 
But most of all, you should have pride. Great pride, not only in your remarkable achievements, but also in this great university. You deserve your success. We in the university are very proud of you. So we sincerely hope that today will not be your last contact with this university. Please remember that our doors will always be open to you. Thank you. I'm Paul Coulthard. I'm Head of Dentistry in the School of Medical Sciences. Uh, I'm Professor of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery and I spend time at Manchester Royal Infirmary and the University Dental Hospital. It's my pleasure to welcome you, the graduates of the Schools of Medicine and Dentistry, and your families and friends. Medical education in Manchester was established in 1752 when the new Manchester Royal Infirmary took its first students. The medical school was officially opened in 1874 and awarded its first degrees of Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery in 1883. The dental school also has a very rich history and started awarding degrees back in 1885 and was the first dental school to award the degree of BSc in Oral Health Sciences. This degree is amongst those being conferred today. All graduates here will be familiar with the name Stopford. Lord Stopford uh, was a medical graduate at the University of Manchester who became uh, Professor of Anatomy, then Dean of Medicine and later Vice-Chancellor of the University. So it seems fair that a building is named after him. It was in the 1950s that Lord Stopford defined the vision for producing clinically excellent young doctors that still drives us forward. He also was a pioneer of the liberal educational principles that the school, our programme and our graduates uh, are respected for across the world. The whole purpose of our medical and dental schools is to improve health both locally and globally. We do this through our education and through our research. We offer a very broad range of degrees, BDS, BSc, MBCHB, MBCHB with European Studies, and intercalated degrees at both undergraduate and postgraduate level in all kinds of subject areas, such as pathology and innovation and enterprise in clinical medicine. We offer a very large range of postgraduate taught programs, some offering integrated clinical training. Our medical and dental students spend significant time developing their clinical practice in a wide range of patient communities from central Manchester and south Manchester to Salford and Preston. Many of our graduates and postgraduates have gone on to senior leadership positions around the world. The current Chief Medical Officer for England, Professor Dame Sally Davies, graduated MBCHB from our university in 1972. Sally, in addition to her CMO role, also chairs the UK Clinical Research Collaboration and is a member of numerous international councils. The Chief Dental Officer for England, Sarah Hurley, is an honorary professor with our dental school. Sarah works with our researchers in health and technology and evidence synthesis and brings her expertise in strategy and health policy. Last year, we hosted an oral health think tank with all four Chief Dental Officers from the UK and their teams. They met with our researchers to help ensure policy development was informed by the latest research. All of our graduates are equipped to make a difference. We produce graduates who are future leaders, developing, delivering whole patient care, and who are scientists, scholars, and critical thinkers. Our students have excellent clinical and communication skills, and they know how to integrate science and clinical practice. Many graduates choose to work in general or specialist practice and do so offering high quality based care based on the best research evidence. Evidence-based practice permeates everything that we do here in Manchester. Others develop a love for research and follow a career in research. Medical research is strong and diverse in Manchester, extending from cellular systems, genomics, platform science, to cancer, cardiovascular, inflammation repair and mental health. 
The output from this academic research is real-world impact. The research is supported by massive external grant funding and is undertaken in partnership with NHS hospital trusts. We're at the forefront of addressing some of the world's most pressing health problems. Dental school research extends from understanding the development of the mouth and face to biomaterials and large clinical trials. We hold a £16 million grant for the largest ever cleft lip and palate research programme in the world. We undertake huge clinical trials. The dental school hosts the world-renowned Cochrane Oral Health Group that produces high-quality reviews to answer important clinical questions and change practice. This gives us an advantage for impact that other dental schools around the world envy. You've had the privilege of learning in this world-class research-informed teaching environment. Many of our graduates have already developed a fascination for research. There's a strong Manchester Medical Research Student Society the dental students created and hosted the first ever British undergraduate dental research program in 2015. We had our third early this year. Our Kuwaiti students hosted an outstanding national conference about the birth of ideas, creativity and invention. Manchester medical students and Manchester dental students are amazing. Many of you have participated in local and global volunteering, serving communities in need. You're extraordinary people in every way, incredible organisers and leaders, excelling in sport, music, art, and wonderful ball and party planners. University education is a huge privilege and offers huge opportunity. It changes your life and makes you see the world in a different way. You also have fun and make lots of friends. You will keep in touch with each other, and some staff, like myself, are into Facebook and Instagram, but uh, you're also now officially members of the university alumni. So take advantage of this and keep in touch with the university and attend our medical and dental CPD events. Congratulations on achieving your success. You will be our ambassadors around the UK and the world. You have the ability to make a difference in the world by improving the quality of patients' lives through your care and through your research. Many congratulations. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Master of Science in Clinical Dentistry, Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Amal Ahmed Magabhead. And in Clinical Science, Blood Sciences, Natalie Jane Mully. And in clinical dentistry, periodontology, Hassan Jawari. <laughs> Finjay Rasa Mikolap. <laughs> and in restorative aesthetic dentistry, Nasheen Badar Ahmed. Aisha Ismail Al Mansouri, <laughs> Arvinda Kaur Badwal, <laughs> Paul Guerino Cocosa, <laughs> Rasida Bibi Dolet. Matthew Dunsmore, <laughs> Zara Essan, <laughs> Ricky Rushpreet Kaur Gataria, <laughs> Ra 
Ruth Goyriche Lea Gonzalez. <laughs> Nea Akil Hafiz. <laughs> Aftab Hussein. <laughs> Gushinda Singh Jaswal. Joshua Tsa K. Yong. <laughs> Susan Wanjiku Mena. <laughs> Danielle Malik. <laughs> Anusha Mandadi. Colden Ali Mohammed, <laughs> Anand Murare Shangres Ekaran, <laughs> Eno Indedi Ilonga Nidakeva, <laughs> Anil Patel. Radhika Patyal, <laughs> Jasmine Piran, <laughs> Fayaz Ali Hassan Rashid, <laughs> Isabella Rokishieta. Harpeet Kaur Saduera. <laughs> Yejide Olifun Milaro Siju Wade Ne Akimwande. <laughs> Brenda Pei Ling Sim. Heng Keatsim. <laughs> Mars Marius Smith. <laughs> Diva Vadher Sidhu. <laughs> Kenneth Pak Ken Wong. <laughs> Rizwana Yunus. And in medical mycology, Ahmed Rafizan bin Ahmed Bakri. <laughs> Jeffrey Chun Yin Lao. <laughs> Roland James Pevsner. and for the degree of Master of Research in Dental Public Health, Ib Sodipo. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Dental Surgery, Cora Tul Ain. <laughs> Ahmed Alali. Talal Alonzi. Sarah Al Dawood. Parasto Alizade. Najla Al Said. Zara Nila Assad. <laughs> Jawaria Ashraf. <laughs> Glyn Melvin Atkinson.
Khadija Awan. Gersimran Kaur Baines. Georgia Isabel Barron. Abigail Rose Bowden. Melissa Boyd. Caroline Helen Bunting. Patrick Darius Chezaz. Jonathan Zoen So Chan. Parvit Kaur Chana. Farida Chasma. Lisa Belinda Chung. Clarissa Lily Tamsin Dale. Manas Dave. Ravi Kumar Desai. Sarah Fiona Doherty. Taylor Dyke Woods. Stuart John Fishwick. Maeve Bria Flanagan. Victoria Fowler. Manel Gidawi. Ben Alexander Gregory. Sanford Matt Grossman. Caitlin Elizabeth Harker. <laughs> Sam Hill. <laughs> Daisy May Hode. <laughs> Joshua Guy Jackson. Nikesh Devshi Kasandas. Asia Corsa. Oliver Grant Kenyon. Rohin Khan. Beth and Liddy. Laura Elizabeth Walker McLean. Nargus Moghisi. Noor Ashikin Binti Mohammed Tajudin. Adrian Moore. Anish Ahmed Munshi. Michael Comrade Orlands.
Junaid Aniz Osman. Hannah Ilias Patel. Gurjit Patar. Lloyd Anthony Payne. Nicholas Michael Potter. Manisha Punj. Ms. Roshi Maria Rawcliffe. Lucy Reese. Hannah Louisa Rendell. Adam David Richardson. Thomas Charles Rickard. Alex Rivera Wild. Aryan Sadagazade Araji. Megan Angarad Samuel. Kara Sandler. Noliana Binti Sanusi. Aisha Mariam Shafiq. Hemesh Tarang Shalat. Ria Kaur Sidhu. Lucy Alexandra Simkin. Kiran Deep Kaur Singh. Caroline Smith. Jennifer Julia Spiller. Thomas Peter Salk. Niku Chajmeri. Rajpal Tatar. Carolina Stefania Chax. Benjamin James Trill. Sophie May Vernon. Samuel Waring. Nicholas James Weir. Kerry Elizabeth Wilson. Zenab Mariam. Mr. President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of humanitarianism, sorry, uh, humanitarianism and conflict response and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours. And that's Simon Beecroft.
Kieran John Clark. And Master of Arts in Humanitarianism and Conflict Response and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, John Michael Pallett. And for the degree of Master in Public Health and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Khalil Ahmed. <laughs> Soheb Imtiaz. <laughs> Rebecca Salt. And for the degree of Master of Research in Cardiovascular Health and Disease and Master of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours, sorry, Master of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours, Talia Caspi. <laughs> Daniel Joseph Prescott. <laughs> and in Genetic Medicine and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Portland Linda. And in Maternal and Fetal Health and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Talia Katrina Dulniak Sumray. And in Medical Sciences and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours, Sophie Claire Collinson. Louis Flood. <laughs> Harriet Van Den Toren. <laughs> and in Medical Sciences and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Mohammed Asfar Abdul Aziz Al Al Akbar. <laughs> Ramesh Krishnan. Harshil Vijay Kumar Patel. <laughs> and in Neuroscience and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, James Angus Ashcroft. <laughs> and in Oncology and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours, Robert Graham Potter. Emily Florence Shears. <laughs> and in Oncology and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Cardo Ala Aladdin. <laughs> Umer Gondal. <laughs> Ali Omar Hashmi. Kumza Azim Yusuf. <laughs> and in Reproduction and Pregnancy and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Jonathan Alexander Briggs. <laughs> Alexandra Sheila Crawford. <laughs> Rosanna Charlotte Snade. Katie Jane Stevens. <laughs> and in Tissue Engineering for Regenerative Medicine and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Hassan Ahmed. <laughs> Saeed Sab Sabahuddin Ahmed. <laughs> Olua Thomasin Ashiru. Anna Avrova. <laughs> Gareth William James Clark. <laughs> Patricia Elise Hodgson.
Benjamin Carl Cadler. Alice Emily Mortimer. And in Translational Medicine and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Zainib Minaha Sadar. And for the degree of Master of Science in Global Public Health and Policy and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Khalil Seka. And in Healthcare Ethics and Law and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours, Jessica Azmi. And in Healthcare Ethics and Law, and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Cory Fenton. Adam Felix Kuchavk, Kuchavk, forgive me. <laughs> Charlie Liu. Harpreet Kornandra. Jordan Scott. <laughs> Kira Walker. <laughs> and in Human Anatomy and Evolution and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Jess Jennifer Claire Parker. And in Medical Humanities and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Abhishek Nelikunja Rao. <laughs> David Watts. <laughs> and in Pharmacology and Physiology and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honours, Sam William Ryan. And in Neuroimaging for Clinical and Cognitive Neuroscience and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Jagdeep Singh Verdi. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science Intercalated Award in Pathology with Honours, Joshua Paul David Coxon. <laughs> Nicola P.P. Nicola PP, thank you. Edward James Rippon. Poppy Shepherd. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Oral Health Science, Victoria Akin Fenwa. Alexandra Atherton. <laughs> Alana Jane Burswhistle. <laughs> Lydia Bleasdale. <laughs> Amy Louise Garlic. Lucy Hicks. <laughs> Muniba Ishak. <laughs> Ulua Tumiwa, Sarah Ann Ishola. <laughs> Charlotte Sproston. And fourth degree of Master of, uh, Bachelor of Science in Innovation and Enterprise in Clinical Medicine with Honours, Adriana Harris. <laughs> James Keatley. <laughs> A 
Anjeta Korubchuk. And for the degree of Master of Science in Clinical Sciences Neurosensory Science, Bridget Olubukola Adibanke Akande. Menbere Amsalu. Rian Jane Bardsley. Victoria Ann Betley. Adam David Hart. Catherine Eva Knight. Bethany Joy Plain. Alice Roberts. Leanne Alexandra Smith. Nishma Sutaria. Uh, and now the affirmation. I would like to invite all medicine and dentistry graduates to stand for the affirmation, please. So I'm going to read the affirmation, uh, and then at the end, I would like uh, I would like you to say, "I so affirm," as a doctor, dental care professional, or dentist. And I'll remind you when we get to that point. Okay. Thank you. I affirm that I will. Make the care of my patients my first concern. Treat every patient politely and considerately. Respect patients' dignity and privacy. Listen to patients and respect their views. Give patients information in a way they can understand. Respect the rights of patients to be fully involved in decisions about their care. Keep my knowledge and skills up to date. Recognize the limits of my professional competence. Be honest and trustworthy. Respect and protect confidential information. Make sure my personal beliefs do not prejudice my patient's care. Act quickly to protect patients from the risk if I have good reason to believe that I or a colleague may not be fit to practice. Avoid abuse of my position as a doctor, dental care professional, or dentist. Work with colleagues in the ways that best serve patients' interests. In all these matters, I will never discriminate unfairly against my patients or colleagues. I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. I would like all doctors, dental care professionals, and dentists to say, I so affirm. I so affirm. Thank you. You may be seated. <laughs> On behalf of the university, I once again congratulate all of you who are gradu <coughs> graduating today on your outstanding achievements. I wish you every success and happiness in your future careers. And now I can declare this ceremony closed. <laughs>